Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Now here is King Tejada. There's a buzz in the stadium every time he comes to the plate as he tries to extend his hitting streak. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first. Just got him, and he was burning up the baseline. Cool. Talk about being able to... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Xavier Edwards gets a chance to hit here. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Bounce to the left side. Over to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Batting second, the third baseman, Jason Medina. Digging in for batting Oakland, pitch. Owen Miller comes in fifth in the American Miller. League in batting average. Miller. And the pitch. Up the middle, Tejada. To first, got him. Batting six, the right fielder, Andy. You gotta be kidding me, did you see that throw? Not really, Boog, I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully StatCast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. Start of the fourth, now in for the Braves, King Tejada. Kid. And every at bat's a big Jaguar. one for him now as he looks to keep this amazing hitting streak going. And the pitch. Hit hard. That gets through. Now batting. And with every hit that extends his streak, he climbs higher on the all-time list. Rarely has anyone gone this far. Yeah, Boog, 30 is about as far as most guys can take it, and he's just blown by that mark, and now it actually looks like 40 might be in play. I'll tell you this, as a hitter, it's so hard to not let that weigh on you. Every game, you're going out there trying to get it out of the way as soon as possible so that you can focus on the game. Makes it a little tough to relax at the plate. Here's Austin Riley. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. Runner at second. Nobody out. Wait for your pitch up there, huh? Next pitch is outside. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Two two now. Good job to fight that one off. Tahada at second with nobody out. Check on the runner. Tejada dives back in safely. Right through there. Got him. And that's the first out. Now that, Kyle Schwarber comes up Kyle. to hit here. His Ooh. first at bat was a strikeout. Chris, when you think of Kyle Schwarber, how about the impact in the playoffs? He's hit some iconic home runs. The one on top of the Wrigley Field scoreboard in the division series against the Cardinals in 2015 and then in 2022. 488 feet off Hugh Darvish. It's at a Petco Park record for distance. 
Runner at second here, one gone. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. And now it's Matt now Olson's bad. turn to no hit. 0 for 1, he grounded yeah. out in his first at bat. Well, he's got what we call light tower power. And even when you have a guy like Bryce Harper on your team and you wow him with the home run, that says a whole lot. And it is 2 and 1. Next offering upstairs. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The 3 1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Runner at second, two down. Three balls, two strikes to count. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Here's a 1-1. One -one. On the ground at first, and it's just foul. That was close. And that just misses. It's a good take. And it's filled up. Rondell Davis in the on-deck circle. First and second, two down. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs, bases full. Rondell Davis next up for the Braves. To the right side. That's the third out. And the Braves will strand three. They lead it one nothing. Here's the shortstop at the play. King Tejada. This guy with light tower power. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Ground ball could be two. Hernandez goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. At the play, Austin oh. Riley. Next offering misses, two and one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two and one now. And now two and two. Base is loaded. One away. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, new He's inning getting Atlanta. started. So now the to the plate for Atlanta, King, King Tejada. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Bounce to third. Zips it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, third baseman. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tyler Soderstrom. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Bounced out to short. Whips it across. That's the third out. Inning over. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Braves three and the A's two. And next for Atlanta, King Tejada. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. <laughs> on the ground, out to short. Fires across the diamond, and there's two away. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Andy Pajes up next for the A's. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Out to short. Throw on to Olsen. Now only one out remaining. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Center fielder, Dominic. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The, the Show.